What's up, Internet? As you can see, we're out in the woods. That's Baby Girl's four-wheeler. Baby Girl's here. <laughs> Me and my daughter decided we wanted to set us up a camp area here in the woods by the house. So, we came out to the end, other end of the property. We were somewhat secluded. And uh, we're going to build, over time, we're going to build a bushcraft-type campsite. You know, um, a bushcraft little homestead. So it's going to be several videos over time doing that because it's going to be a long process. But the main purpose of this video is to show you this really cool tool that I have here. It's called a settler's wrench. So baby girl and I are going to make a mallet to help us build this bushcraft um, shelter campsite that we're going to build over time. And I think it's just a cool way to showcase this little tool right here that's going to help us do that along the way. But you need tools to be able to build these campsites, right? So a settler's wrench is a really cool tool to do that. Also called a Scotch eye auger. Um, and she's got it down here. I've already got some wood cut up for her and we're gonna try to make this mallet. So why don't y'all come along and check it out. All right, baby girl, so what you got there? Show them the tool. So there's your settler's wrench or scotch eye auger. So as you see here, you've got, it's about a one inch diameter hole there, tapered on this end to a sharp edge so that you can make um, pegs. And then you've got this auger here so that you can drill holes to put the peg in. So a really cool tool here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a mallet. So this is gonna be Lila's handle for her mallet here. A little bit large, but you know, we'll see how it works. And then this here is gonna be the head of the mallet. So we're gonna make a peg on this end and we're gonna drill a hole into this. We'll bevel the edges a little bit and we can use that as a tool while we're building our little bushcraft campsite, huh? Cool, yeah. all right. So a little bit bushcraft, we do have vehicles here. <laughs> so we're gonna build this thing modern as well, but we're gonna have some fun with some bushcraft skills, teaching baby girl some bushcraft skills along the way. So let's see how you do baby girl. So get that as centered as possible, okay? okay. Be careful not to hit your hand and you use that other one. Just try to drive that in, okay? Gotta whack it good, hit it hard. I can help you whenever you're ready. Hold up, let go. And make sure that you're you're as straight as possible. Okay. Here, you want me to get it started for you? Yes. Let me get it started for you. Here you go. Here you hold this. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this down and set it on top. To give me something hard for it to hit against. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's put this back on. That's good. Good hit here. There we go. All right. Okay. You made that look so much easier than it was for me. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now, let's try to peel these pieces back here. I'm gonna have to take my knife and clean off. Some of those edges there. Matter of fact, I'll take it out now. Okay. Clean these edges up here. Not 
too terribly bad, huh? Uh-uh. Alright, so you can see there, you've rounded off and made a peg with that, see? Alright, so let me find a stick to go through this, and then you can work on drilling that hole, how about that? Okay. okay? Might be a little bit easier for you, okay? Okay. So we'll drill us a hole right there, see if we can get it started with a hand, just to get it going. And then I'll find a stick to go in there. Let me go see if I can find me a stick. Okay? Okay. All right, be right back. So stay right above it so you can be sure it's straight. And try to keep it straight while you turn. There you go. And what you can do too, like you can take it out and clean it up a little bit so you don't have so many shavings. And this, if you need to. That wood's kind of fibrous. There you go. Stick that back in there. And put all your weight down on it while you're turning it. How deep does it need to be? Um, probably about that whole bit. Maybe all the way through, if we can get it to go all the way through. When you get tired, I can do it some. Okay, that's much better. You tired? All right, put your hands down low to the side so when I spin it, I don't hit your arm. Okay, ready? Should fit once we get deep enough. We got a little ways to go. You want to do it more or you want to hold it? I can do it a little bit. There you go. Just keep pressure down. It's biting good now. There you go. Let's help you build your muscles. No, oh, thank you. You don't want muscles? Well, my muscles are by throwing people in the <laughs> Those are where I get my muscles from. There you go. Good job. Keep going. Feel like it's still biting good? Mm-hmm. Okay. A little bit less, but... <laughs> Tired, just let me know, and I'll do it some. That would 
pinch me. Yeah, you gotta be careful, you won't pinch yourself. All right, let me do it some. Back it out, clean it up, okay? Got it? do you have you on have on you at all times typically i have three on me at all times nice pocket knife a fixed blade and my neck knife all right i'm curious here you want to go and drive it in or you want to wait let's try all right hold up. so there's our hole so far we're going to go ahead and drive the handle in just to do it. She's ready to drive the handle in. So, put that there. And take your, take your um, other piece and drive that down straight in. Put your hand right here. It's okay. Not everything is perfectly symmetrical in making stuff out of sticks. Sticks. <laughs> there you go. Pretty solid, huh? Mm -hmm. So ideally, maybe we should have got a piece a little bit smaller here so we could go all the way through and drive deeper in and then put something in through the top. But I think you kind of get the gist there. So now you got to mallet to help you make stuff in camp so what you can do now baby girl is you can come across here and kind of round kind of round these edges off a little bit so that when you hit stuff Don't risk chipping it as bad. That way, if you hit it kind of on the edge, like if you're hitting something and you hit it on the edge, mm -hmm. it may not chip off as easily. Like that. That's good enough. So now, like when we're driving pegs, you can use your mallet that you made. Drive a peg in the ground. Pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. And we'll make a couple more of these just in case one breaks and we got others. But, I mean, it's pretty solid.
What do you think? Pretty cool. Cool, huh? So there's Lila's first little out in the woods bushcraft project. <laughs> you did good, baby girl. Thank you. Maybe we'll, um, a little bit later on down the road when we build a little bit more things and you can try to make another one all by yourself. Now that you kind of see how it goes versus me just telling you. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right, well, you did good though. Okay, awesome. So that's the settler's ranch right there. Pretty cool product, what you guys think about it. Gonna come in handy for making things for our little camp that we're gonna do. Comes in this nice little sheath that you can wear on your belt, like so. Slides right in there. Put it on your belt. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so let's tell them about our ideas for a camp real quick, huh? All right, baby girl, tell them about your ideas for, for a little camp here. Two trees. All right. So these are these two trees are bases. All right. We're gonna stack logs up against them on both sides, and then we're gonna build like a tilted thing where trees lay over it as our roof. Okay. And put a tarp on it, and then a fire pit over here. Okay. And we want to build a bench right here with the settler's wrench and then maybe walls on both sides okay sounds like a plan so we'll get started on that soon and when we do we're gonna film it we're gonna share it with y'all me and my bbg all right so hope you guys enjoyed this quick video of how to make a mallet a bushcraft mallet with the settler's wrench so we'll have some other things going on. We're going to build some more tools before we really get started on the uh, on the camp, um, just because they'll help us. So we're going to build some saw horses. Um, obviously, we're going to build a fire pit. Um, I don't know. We'll come up with some other things to help us build it and show you guys the progression. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like and comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we post new videos with BBG. And we'll see you next time with the beginning of our bushcraft shelter. Yeehaw.